Hello everybody! Today we are going to take the mystery science experiment from yesterday and I am going to try doing it at home by myself for all of you to watch just in case you didn't have the materials or you weren't able to try the experiment yesterday you can either watch this video and learn from my experiment or you can try to follow along with me and do it yourself. Um, we watched in the video yesterday that you should have learned is water strong enough to break up a canyon? And you should know the answer already if you've seen the video, but all scientists test their theories and they want to see for sure if things are true. So with our experiment today, we're not using real land, but we are using a model which will help us to know is this really true? Can we make water break something up to make a canyon? So we'll find out and follow along to see what happens. Here's what you're going to need to make your cornmeal canyons. You're going to need some cornmeal, not too much of it, so you don't have to get a big container like me. You're going to need some kind of plastic cup. I just used an old yogurt cup that I cleaned out. And you're going to need a push pin to push a hole into your cup, and some measuring cups and some salt. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add a one and a half cups of cornmeal. This is going to be plenty. Okay, there's my cornmeal. And I'm going to need a half cup of salt. So I'm going to just measure out a half cup of salt here. Of salt. Hopefully, you have as much salt at home. All right. Now you're going to need also a half cup of water. Okay. So I'm going to mix in the water. And I'm going to mix it all up. Okay. The other thing that you're going to need to do is you are going to need to take your push pin and make a small hole in the bottom of your plastic cup. You're going to want to make it on the edge. So my hole is right here. Okay, once you've made your hole, you can mark it with a Sharpie, like I did. And then you're going to need a stick to attach the plastic cup onto. You can use tape or something. Alright, so now we're going to make the land. And the video tells you you need all these Dixie cups and plastic cups and things, but we're doing this from home, so you can use almost anything. Um, right here I have a cutting board, and I have two plates, one big plate and one small plate. You can use normal plates from your kitchen if your parents let you, or you can try to use plastic containers if you have any. So I have my land right here, and I found an old container. This is actually a cat food container that I cleaned out, but you can find almost anything that's small like this. And you're going to take your land and kind of pat it down in there. <laughs> it's kind of like Play-Doh. I'm just patting it down with my hands here and then it's kind of like making a sand castle we're just gonna put it over down like this and let go carefully it's kind of working there we go you can just pat it back together to make your land and keep doing this until you have made all four of your land pieces So I've got my setup, and this is what your setup should look like. I have made four little sand castle things, and I filled in the middle. And you can kind of see that what I did is I took this second plate and I tilted it, and that so that when the water falls, it's going to go downstream and not just collect in the middle. I also have two glasses and a ruler here. And this cup has been attached to the ruler with a piece of tape. And you can see my line here. This is where my tiny hole is. So I'm going to fill up this cup with water, and it's going to go down onto my land. Okay? So let's watch carefully to see what happens when I fill a cup. All right, here goes 
rainstorm number one. Oh, you can see the You can see the ruler is actually bent downwards because of the weight of the water in the cup. It's coming out kind of slowly, but I definitely see something happening. So my first rainstorm is almost over, almost all the water's gone, and you can see that after just one rainstorm, this looks like a real canyon. I see a little river. Do you see this little river forming? And we've got a whole big canyon here where this all used to be filled in. This used to be land, and now we've got a big ditch. So I want you to make predictions. What's going to happen when I add another rainstorm to this? All right, this is my land after rainstorm number two. And you can see this doesn't really look like a canyon anymore. This is like a big hole. We've got something that looks almost like a lake and all the water is coming out and going downhill and you know this makes me wonder what's it going to be like after rainstorm number three over time are we going to have any land left at all what do you think let's find out okay this is my land after rainstorm number three as you can see most of the land is gone and we just have mostly like a big lake now. So I think that we proved, we answered the question, can water be strong enough to make a canyon? Water is so strong that over time, it can wear away at rocks. And what that's called is erosion. So remember that even though in real life this happens over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, water is actually strong enough to break away a rock.